All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Devin Finzer, and I'm going to be giving an overview of OpenSea's product. So to start with, what is OpenSea? We're the largest marketplace for non-fungible tokens or crypto assets. Um, so we allow people to buy and sell anything from crypto kitties to trading cards to event tickets to domain names. Uh, there's now a whole world of non-fungible tokens and OpenSea supports all of these non-fungible tokens and allows you to buy and sell these assets in a variety of ways. So this is the OpenSea homepage. Um, as you can see, we've broken out uh, this top bar into the various categories of non-fungible tokens. So we have art, we have domain names, we have virtual worlds, trading cards, collectibles, sports and utility and you can go and drill into any of these categories to sort of explore them further or alternatively you can click on explore to just sort of start browsing around on nfts more generally so you can see that there's a whole diverse set of non-fungible tokens here there's items from games domain names art so you might want to drill down and just look at a specific uh, type of NFT. So for example, if we go and we select uh, virtual worlds, we can see all of the non-fungible tokens um, from virtual world projects. Um, or if we go and we drill down into um, art, we can see uh, just art pieces on, on OpenSea. Um, you can also take a look and see at what's happening on the market overall. So what assets are moving around, what are people listing? What are people buying and selling? By going into this activity feed. And this activity feed lets you sort of get a drill down of um, all of the different events that are happening. So you can see uh, sales for different pieces of art. Um, you can see listings, you can see bids, and you can see transfers. Um, and so as an example, if we wanted to learn more about a project, um, so let's say we want to sort of see what's going on with the Formula One Delta Time game, we can go into the activity feed and we can actually see a graph of how many sales there have been over time. Um, and we can drill down into just the last 30 days and kind of see you know, what's, what's happening in this period of time. Um, and then of course we can go back to the listings and uh, you know, decide are there things that we want to you know, purchase from this collection. For an individual collection, um, we can also drill down into the specific traits. So if we wanted to see all of the items that are of a particular track, um, of a particular, uh, have particular stats, we can do that as well. Okay, so the next thing to kind of show is the rankings. So the rankings page shows all of the projects um, on OpenSea in terms of the seven day volume. So it can sort of give you a perspective on what are the most tra highly traded projects on OpenSea uh, over the last uh, seven days. And you can also go and you can drill down and see what are the new and upcoming NFT projects that might be interesting to check out. And then of course you can drill down and you can look at only art projects, you can look at only domain name projects and all of this. Next up um, is our profile page. So to use OpenSea, all you have to do is connect your Ethereum wallet. So I've already connected my wallet. So when I go to my account page, I can instantly see all of my items showing up on my profile. Now I have a lot of different NFTs, so um, it's a little bit messy, but um, I can go and I can you know browse these, I can sort them by different categories. Um, and uh, most importantly, I can go and put one of these things on sale. Um, another page that's very useful is drilling down into an individual history of an NFT. So for example, um, let's go and take a look at one of these non-fungible tokens here. And we can see the full price history of this item over time. So, and we can drill down into say the last 30 days and sort of see you know, what is the rough amount that people are buying and selling this asset for. And then we can also really easily see all of the listings for this asset. 
um, and all of the offers that are being made on this asset. Um, of course, we can drill down into the specific properties. We can get a bigger view of the item by clicking into it. Um, we can uh, take a look and learn more about the collection. Um, and we can even drill, if we want, into the blockchain info to see you know, what contract is this deployed on and what's the token ID. Um, and then finally, we have the trading history for this item. So this is basically a view where we can see all of the different events all the different sales and offers that have been made on this item. So this is really interesting if you want to kind of get a better sense of how much your NFT might be worth based on the past trading history. Um, and then finally, you can click and you can see who are all the people that own this particular asset. Lastly, uh, we have a, sort of a new feature that we're still working on, so it's still in, in beta. Um, but this is the ability to create your own NFTs. So if you go to the storefront manager, you can see here that I have access to a lot of other storefronts, but you can go ahead and create your own storefront and create your own NFTs inside of this storefront. So as an example, if we take a look at one of uh, a relatively popular artist on OpenSea named Josie, um, she has used OpenSea to do all of her sales. And um, in fact, um, and, and so she actually mints her NFTs directly on OpenSea and then sells them to her, uh, her supporters. So if we go and we view the collection for Josie, um, we can see that she's actually had over 430 ETH worth of trading on her collection. Um, and we can go and we can drill down and see you know, what are the exciting different assets that are currently on sale um, in that collection.